And now, over to our great governor, Ned Lamont. All right, good morning, everybody. You know why we have success here in this state when it comes to reasonable, smart, sane gun control laws? Because of you, because of a movement, because people stand up every day. And you know what you do as a movement? You keep moving. You're never satisfied. There's more we can do to keep you safe, keep our communities safe. And I love the fact that Connecticut is a leader, and we lead. You see what goes on in Washington, what we do here in Connecticut, we can take around the country, thanks to Chris Murphy. I'll just say, um, this is how laws happen. It starts with you. It starts with folks on the street. It starts with you telling us your stories. It starts with amazing mayors like Bru Luke Bronin, the pain he feels when um, there's a shooting here. And he tells the story, tells me about the, how the world has changed in the last 10 years, how we have um, 10 times more of these illegal ghost guns, plastic guns, guns that's easy to take a pistol and turn it into a machine gun. In many cases, our cops are being outgunned, says we got to do something about that. Reminds us that so many of these crimes are committed by a small group of people. Those are the folks who got to get the illegal guns off the street and some of those folks off the street as well. And we listen to that and our friends in the legislature listen to that. We put together a, a bill that gets passed and I hope it makes as big a difference as those reforms after Sandy Hook did 10 years ago. We passed uh, on a strong bipartisan basis 10 years ago after that incredible tragedy at Sandy Hook, laws that made a difference, laws that um, now, last year, amazing Chris Murphy telling the Connecticut story, telling folks that these laws are making a difference, these laws in Connecticut are keeping people safe here. Look at the number of uh, shootings, the number of murders, the number of suicides are way down in Connecticut compared to those states that are so permissive and allowing, having gun on every single street corner. We are much safer for it, and America would be much safer for it. Hopefully, Chris Murphy and Dick Blumenthal, our delegation, could take the Connecticut uh, example and take that around the rest of the country. It's a little ironic that uh, Connecticut for a couple of centuries was known as the arsenal of democracy. Yeah, we had Colt firearms in Remington, Winchester, and we armed the militias, we armed the armies that fought for freedoms. But increasingly, those are the guns that leaked out on those streets, and those are the guns that no longer were fighting for freedom, but jeopardizing each and every one of you in communities across this state and across this country. So for the state that was once the arsenal of democracy is now the laboratory of change, the laboratory of democracy, making sure that the changes we make here, getting those ghost guns off the street, mental health, all the changes we can make, we can make at the national level. And I don't like the excuses from the NRA and others. Oh, Governor, it's, it's, uh, it's really, it's not about guns, it's about uh, mental health. It's about mental health. We're taking the lead there. We've had the biggest investment in mental health. We have Project Longevity and others going right there, uh, helping out folks at the place where the violence happens, providing them the support that they need going forward, and doing that along with red flag laws, so that next uh, Adam Lanza will be a red flag, will know that somebody is going through severe distress, making it a lot less likely for him to be able to get a gun. And by the way, he won't be able to get that gun under his mom's bed because it'll be in safe storage under lock and key where it belongs. Yeah, then the uh, NRA goes, oh, it's, it's not about guns, it's about getting those, uh, those repeat gun offenders off the street. And um, look, it's a very small group. A lot of knuckleheads do stupid stuff. Those go folks need, need, they help, get them back in the track. But there's a small group that commit 90% of those crimes. And those are the groups that we're going to be very strong about, making sure that we get the illegal guns off the street and we get them off the street as well. One, And finally, every time you tell me it's not about the guns, it's about the guns. <laughs> it's about the guns. And we're, 
We have more damn guns per person in this country than anywhere else on earth. And it shows. And you see that in the uh, nature of the random violence out there, the gang violence, the perpetrated violence, drug-related violence, emotional suicide violence, and uh, we can do so much better. The law we put in place, uh, passed on, uh, by the legislature, much stricter about getting those ghost guns off the street, much tougher about making it easier for cops to pick up people who are openly carrying those guns and making a difference there, uh, much make a big difference in terms of law and order and safety, and it starts with each and every one of you. I want you to keep the pressure on me. I want you to keep the pressure on the legislature, and, um, and we can lead by example because we know it works. We know what we do works, and I want to take this around the region and around the country, and I can't do it without a better partner than Chris Murphy. All right, Chris, now I'm filibustering because I think you're about to come out on stage. <laughs> but this guy has taken the lead. He put together a coalition, a coalition with our delegation, delegations on both sides of the aisle. Where's Chris? <laughs> He's stepping up every day, making the difference that we need. He's the guy that got it together. He's the guy that done it done in Washington. He's the guy that's going to take our example and take it around the country. Chris Murphy.